happy Saturday from Panda Express. Orange chicken with red rice, wontons, and then Tina's got teriyaki chicken, orange chicken, and steamed rice. We're on our way to Universal. This parking lot line sucks. So we are like halfway through Universal Studios walking to Harry Potter. Um, to be honest, I've never been on this side of the Universal Studios area ever, like even before the Harry Potter was over here. So it's like really interesting to see. Like I didn't know they had a Fisherman's Wharf of San Francisco here. It looks very similar, you know, nice and new and clean versus, you know, bird poop everywhere. Ooh, and they even have the, um, what is that? Clam Chatter little restaurant. That's pretty cool. Wait, no, maybe we have been over here because we've been to Disaster before, but it didn't look like that. Maybe this is all upgraded. I guess it's, maybe everything's been upgraded. Oh yeah, it was at night. And a lot of this was closed off because it was still like a construction zone. No seals, no baby seals. It's not that cute. But it's really cool because they even have like all the San Francisco restaurants and stuff. That's awesome. And now we're at the train station. I believe this is the train station area. King's Cross. This takes you to the other theme park. The other Harry Potter part of the theme park. And then somewhere over here you go takes there. you to Harry Potter. Lots of London stuff. And even the uh, telephone booth. And then Simpsons Crestyland. We have been over there, but this was not open yet. There's a big bus right there. And let's go into Harry Potter land. Yeah. The illusion of walking through the wall is the point of this. That's why they have the bricks within the bricks, so it looks kind of confusing. Holy crap. This is awesome. They even have the theme music going on in here. Wow. Can you guys see the dragon on top of the bank? So we just got out of the Bank of Gringotts roller coaster ride. It was like an hour long wait in the line. Um, I didn't bring my camera with me because we had to put our bags and stuff in lockers so I didn't get any pictures or anything inside the bank, but that's okay. We can walk around the town, check it out. The ride was really cool. There was one drop in there I was not anticipating. It was pretty cool though. It was a really awesome 4D ride. This place is really awesome. It's like really well decorated and put together and it's very, very themed. Like every little nook and cranny and inch and detail is very Harry Potter. It's so exciting. I don't know where we are. We don't have an official map with us. So we're just kind of walking around until we find things. Exit that way. I don't want to exit. I want to find this hidden alley. There's like a hidden alley somewhere. And it takes you to a completely other part of this. It looks just like Lego Harry Potter. <laughs> It's got toys and stuff everywhere. A little Weasley store. They're even in their costumes. That was cool. The dragon just breathed fire, but we missed it. I wonder when it's going to do it again. I think this might be the alleyway that Corey was talking about, where it looks kind of dark and scary, but it really takes you to another part of town. Oh, it is. This is the Diagon Alley, instead of when he said it wrong, when they were supposed to go through that little fire pit, and he's like, Diagon Alley instead of Diagon Alley, or something. I can't remember. This is cool, it's really dark so you guys can't see much. Sorry guys. It's literally like a scary alleyway. It's kind of cool. Everything's so dark here and creepy. Creepy hands. Oh nice, the Deathly Hallows. People 
waiting. Maybe it's gonna blow fire again. Maybe, maybe not. That'd be cool if it did. Nope, I guess not. Apparently there's a 45 minute wait for the train to uh, the other theme park, which is pretty crazy. We're finally at the train. Well, kind of, we're there, getting there. Getting there. Oh, and we walked through a wall, it was pretty cool. Oh, owl, owly. That is pretty awesome. That is exciting. But yeah, we walked through the wall because it's like nine and three quarters. Yep, nine and three quarters, it's up on the wall. The train just arrived and we're still in line. That's really cool. This is exciting. I love Harry Potter so much, so much. It's cool because the windows are actually TV so it has like images and stuff. We are now at Hogsmeade. It's interesting, the train is now like right outside the Harry Potter area because there's the Harry Potter section. There's the old Harry Potter section. But then if we go that way, it takes us out of the park. So we're heading out. Um, and that's where the old train thing was, but we're going this way. We're not gonna say we've been at this Harry Potter like a million times. That's cool. Hey guys, I'm here at Office Depot. Um, Tino's getting a haircut. So I found more labels. I'm gonna get these tiny little color-coded labels and use this as like my daily checklist items. So I'll put a sticker and then write something. And then there's these even smaller, like rectangular ones. They're uh, five and 16 inch and a half an inch, little rectangular labels. And I'm gonna use these for appointments. I'm gonna color them in with marker. And then these will be appointment stickers so I can put like the time here and then write the appointment adjacent to it so yeah I'm pretty cheap and I don't really want to spend five dollars for stickers so think about getting these like full sheet paper stickers like these full ones these eight and a half by elevens and then printing my own stickers and then just cutting them out we'll see for now I'm gonna do this and go with this for now and just keep it really simple and then as I get more complicated I might print my own stickers Hey guys, I am working on my planner. Where did my markers go? Oh, I got new markers. Oh, I did not do a haul of the stuff that I got from Office Depot, but I got Office Depot markers. They're metallic markers. And ah, I'm trying to get them out of this bag. So I put all my pens and my markers in a bag together. I figured it'd be easier. But they're these beautiful metallic markers and I was coloring over dots to create little stickers and labels. And I got these dots, they're the same dots, I just colored over them um, with the markers. And then I got these labels like I showed you guys in the store. And then I've just been coloring over those. And what I've been doing, I know so much noise, is I've been making these little appointment stickers. So then I write down like what my appointment is, their colors, and then I made little checklists here. It's pretty awesome. So you can see I've done these obviously, but I haven't done these bad boys. So yeah, um, I am super excited. I, I love all these little markers. These are the freaking bomb. I bought them in the permanent marker section, like in the Sharpie section, because I was going to get metallic Sharpies, which for like six metallic Sharpies, it was going to be like $11, and I got eight metallic Office Depot Sharpies for like $5.60. So, and they came in more colors, because the, the other ones only came in gold, bronze, and silver. These have more, so I am super excited. I'm going to spend some time coloring with my markers and my phone is tripping out right now so yeah okay guys so I've got Lizzie playing it just automatically played I was playing a video and then it like brought up a really old one automatically but anyway so I'm trying to figure out what to do with my lanterns I thought what if I hang it from my lamp 
So I literally used painter's tape and hung it. And I really love the tree. Like, that's cute. Um, I have it overlapping the love sign because there's actually a little remote control for the lantern or the tree. And it just turns that off. But I'm gonna be honest, these lanterns look pretty ghetto hanging there like that. Like, I think it actually looks worse that way. Otherwise, I don't know where to put the lantern. Hey guys, so, oh, sorry, I'm trying to put stuff away. I am home. It's like 6.48 p.m. So it's like time for the dogs to eat dinner. Um, actually, they ate dinner in like 10 minutes. Anyway, I didn't vlog today because after I dropped Tino off, I went home, I fell asleep, woke up just in time to get ready, went to mass. I was the soloist today, so I sang like three songs by myself. Then after mass, I went home, Past, had lunch, I had like a salad, some cottage cheese and bell pepper, so I didn't really eat anything like too crazy. And then I fell asleep again, then I got ready again, went back to church and I was the cantor at 4.30, sang again. And then now I'm home and I'm making myself dinner. Essentially, I have made zucchini and mushroom satay and um, I had some leftover chicken and I just reheated it in the pan that I used to saute the zucchini. I have more chicken, but I didn't want to reheat all of it. So I just reheated a portion of it. I made a fruit smoothie. It's kind of tart. I think I put too much orange juice in it. It's strawberry, banana, raspberry, yogurt, and orange juice. Hey guys, it's Monday and I know it's like dark right now. But I wanted to show you something. So I've been working on this since yesterday, but I didn't get the opportunity to vlog because I was not feeling very well. And then this morning I felt terrible. I felt so sick and I'm not going to work. And usually when I'm sick, I'll work from home, but I, I was so nauseous and like dizzy that I couldn't even work from home. Like, I just felt terrible, so I ended up, like, trying to sleep all day. It was bad, but the dogs were, like, harassing me, so I didn't get to. But I've kind of finished it. It's a hot mess right now, but I finished it. Like, finished it as in I moved furniture. Long story short, I rearranged the beauty room. You guys ready to see this? I'm so excited. Boom. I moved everything. Oh, my gosh, everything's a hot mess. But, like, this is going to be my new backdrop. Like, isn't that exciting? I am super excited. Essentially, I took the desk and I moved it to this side of the bed, bed, bedroom, next to the TV so that when I'm doing my makeup, I can just turn the TV and watch the Roku, watch some YouTube on the TV versus on my phone. That, of course, used to be on that wall. I now moved it over. The chest used to be right in this area. I moved it under the window. Tino is going to help me install some curtains so that you guys won't have to see the yellow wall anymore because the yellow wall is totally like it's obnoxious that's that's the biggest reason why i moved the desk is because the yellow wall in my videos totally makes my videos look yellow and we have these really awesome dark gray curtains that we got to like essentially darken this room so that when our guests are here this room is super dark whenever they're sleeping so like no light comes in um but it will work out great as like something to put in the back and then anytime I do tutorials, I want to buy some sort of backdrop stand or something to hang this. And then I'll just hang it like right here, right behind me. And I'll use it as a backdrop. But the desk is a mess because I moved everything, but it didn't really reorganize. So there's literally just random stuff all over the desk. But I kind of want to show you what the view looks like. So let's turn this on. So there's no memory card. Awesome. This is going to be my new background. Oh, let's turn on this light. Can you see that in the screen? I got the little bubbles, bubbles, lanterns. Um, the bed is in the shot. You can, of course, see the window, but there'll be like gray curtains. So you'll see a little bit of the wall, but you'll mostly see curtains. But for now, that's fine. Um, I realized I don't have this little guy turned on. This is just a little battery pack. So this one's not on a remote like everything else. But yeah, so I'm super excited. 
Um, obviously in this video my walls don't look super yellow because the white balance on this camera is crazy. It like overcompensates and makes it look more bluish, but in reality they are yellow walls. I guess, I guess it does look yellow there, but I'm pretty excited about this new setup and I'm looking forward to making videos in here.